Hello everyone, this is Matt Roberts with Salt Lake City Bookkeeping. Today I'm going to be doing a QuickBooks demonstration on how to email invoices and statements directly from QuickBooks. I want to uh, first point out this, if you're watching on YouTube, um, Change Your Quality sends a 720, which is on the lower right, kind of looks like a little gear. Um, within QuickBooks, what we're going to do is change the preferences, mark the invoices to be emailed, and then send the actual invoices or statements. So let's go ahead and get started here with our sample company, Vandalay Industries. First thing we'll do is go and edit the preferences. Go edit preferences, send forms, and what you can do here is either set up Outlook, which is kind of my preference. Um, if you do have Outlook on your computer, just select this and hit OK, and that's going to automatically link them. Um, webmail is another option, and those are fine too. It's got all your normal ones, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, your server name and port for those can easily be found um, just by Googling it. Your company preferences is going to have the default email, body of the email, for invoices, statements, whatever you want to change. You can change it just first name. Um, you can change the body of the email. And that can all be um, kind of tweaked right before you send it anyway, so it's no big deal. Um, let's go to the next step, which is actually marking the invoice to be emailed within QuickBooks. If you go to your customer center, um, I've got an open invoice here for Kruger Industrial Smoothing. And if we click on that, we can see this is an invoice to those guys for the exporting of diapers. Um, and what we can do is set this to be emailed just by clicking it right here. And that's going to tell QuickBooks that's how we want to send it. So if we come back out, we can actually set the default for Kruger to be emailed every time by double clicking on their name, going to the additional info tab, and send the preferred send method as email. That way, next time you do create an invoice for these guys, it's automatically going to be marked to be emailed. So the last step in the process is actually sending those invoices. We've, we've set up our email server in QuickBooks. We've set the invoice to be emailed. Now we just need to send it, which is as simple as file, send forms, and there's our invoice that we had marked. If you have multiple of them, you can select them all. You can deselect them. You can edit the email, which is going to you know, come up from us. It's from Art at Vandalay Industries to AP at Kruger Industrial Smoothing. And here's the body of the email. If you want to change that, you just do so. Hit OK and hit Send. And off it goes into Outlook. And you're done. Um, lastly is the sending of statements. Um, pretty similar. You just come in here, set your date parameters, do multiple customers or single customers, however you want to do it. Let's just stick with that one we were looking at. And you can look at it first just to make sure it all looks right and you don't send them an invoice and they're upset about it. And then you just email it off and it's gone. So that's really all there is to it. If you've got any other questions on this, um, feel free to reach out to us one of these ways. We'd be happy to help. Have a good day.